So, last time you saw this saw, we had an air leak. Let's see if we can do something about that. Clutch looks good. So there it is. Down to the oil pump. Two O-rings in there. If you notice a bunch of, bunch of leakage in here, replace those O-rings. All right. That crankshaft seal is. A lot pretty. Here's what our crankshaft seal looks like. See it? Let's pop that sucker out of there. All right. Hey, there she comes. That was a challenge. It did not want to come out. That was one of the worst ones ever. I'm just giving it light taps, real light taps. All right, there she is. One new seal. All right, so we got the seal in. Now, you ready to do an experiment with me? <laughs> I love experiments, haven't you? Can you tell? All right, so, reeds. If you haven't noticed, I focus a lot on reeds. That's because reeds will just screw with you if they're not right. I just, I spend enough time playing with dirt bikes and everything. Reeds are important. So here's a factory set of reeds for a Super XL Auto. All right, guess what I found? I got something that might work as an aftermarket replacement. Might. It's untested. It is not built for a chainsaw, but the design is so close that I want to test it. So the difference is this bottom block part. That's the only difference. They're a little wee bit taller, you see? But all we gotta do is separate it. Separate it off this one, okay? Now, this one has a rubber piece in here. This is the same as this black piece here that replaces the reeds, okay? We have to use the rubber one from the new ones. Insert it in, slide it on. That's all I gotta do in order to bolt it up. So, the question is, how well is it gonna work? Well, since I'm working on a Super XL Auto, I say we find out, huh? Let's do it. I have been waiting more than a month for this part. They've been out of stock. And if this works, we found an aftermarket replacement for the reeds on a Super XL Auto. It's amazing. You know what I mean? If this works. Alrighty, we gotta pull the carburetor out. The seal's done. That's that was the easy part. To a point. Had to deal with a bit of corrosion. I'm excited for this. I'm very excited. You won't believe. I've always felt the reeds on these saws were one of the worst designs I've ever seen. Reeds are actually work great. Um, I mean, you think about it, Yamaha Banshee, 350cc, two cylinder engine on an ATV, uses reeds, you know? They're a good design, they work. 
A lot of people think piston ported, but it's. I think part of that's just because the reed saws, like the old homelay reed saws, the reeds, the design sucked so bad that I think everybody just kind of got a bad taste for it. But it's actually a better design in the long run. The engine will last longer. The difference is that with a reeds design, you're throwing your fuel down into the crankcase right away. Where a piston ported design, your, your fuel has to come through the side and kind of make its way down and mix in before it comes back up. Where on, let, let me show you. Here. So, this sucker stuck, there we go. So piston ported sign, your intake is literally coming in right here at the bottom of the piston. You're coming in right here at the bottom of the piston. Okay, that's piston ported. It's coming in right here. And sometimes it'll actually come through the piston. Most of the time it's coming below the piston. A reed design sends it straight into the crankcase first. Okay, so you're you're lubricating the bottom end of the, end of the engine first. It's it's better for longevity, in my personal opinion. Um, that and it just when you're coming into the bottom, it just it's a nice swooping motion up. You can you can move fuel better. It'll uh, it, I, don't know, I just I prefer that design better because in a piston port, you got to come in here, get it to go down in the bottom, swirl around, mix around, and then get it back up. Where the, this redesign sends it right to the bottom first. I just, I prefer that design. That's probably one of the reasons I like home lights. I think they were designed better for longevity. Now, so here's our reed cage. There we go. So here's this reed, okay? I'm not a fan of this design, I'm not. So let's, break it, let's get this guy installed now. I'm excited about doing this. The reed has been the one thing because, I mean, I've been talking to you about doing a ported saw, right? Well, the reed cage was a big thing for me because it, I can port it all I want. If I ain't got a good set of reeds, it's pointless, you know? So I need, I needed to figure out a source for reeds, a good set of reeds. And that's, that's why this whole test is happening. This test is leading us up to the ported saw. That's what it's all about. Our steps getting us there. You know what I mean? Probably been wondering why I haven't done it yet. Well, that's that's because of this. I've been I've had some tests I wanted to do, and this is one of them. And I got delayed because of getting the part in. They were out of stock. Go figure. Just my luck, right? Reeds, you know. I can't stress enough. Make sure you got good reeds. I'll give you an explanation one of these days about blowdown. Because blowdown is what forces the fuel back up above the piston. And if you ain't got good reeds, you ain't got good blowdown. So if you ain't got good blowdown, then you ain't getting, you know, your, your fuel flow isn't going to be correct. And the reed is the key to get that good blowdown. You can have it ported all you want. If your blowdown's off, forget it. You ain't getting a good seal on the reeds, forget it. It's just pushing the air back out the carburetor in the wrong direction if you ain't got good reeds. I'm just going to try to torque these screws down a little more snug than normal just to help avoid any air leaks. If I go too far, you know, I'm stripping. I don't want to do that. So, you guys who work on these Super XL autos, or you have one or whatever. Let me test this read first and then I'll give you the source if it all works out. So you'll be able to get them yourself. Um, 
price tag is about 20 bucks. So it's not a bad price. Now if you really want to get yourself one and test it too, I'll tell you the source. Just shoot me a, a little message there on shoot me a comment or something now I'll, I'll get you connected it was about 20 bucks i think till it was shipped here but it did take forever but i had it i'm thinking eight weeks until i got it they were out of stock so i just i had to wait so you might have better luck brand new set of reeds aftermarket I'm still proud of that find okay let's get our barn chain back on here I can tell you the reeds are a little stiffer than the factory ones um, I mean just a little enough that I could notice now how that will affect the saw performance is it might be a little more sluggish on the throttle, but it might not be. It, it might not be enough of a difference, if you know what I mean. It might be just a little more sluggish, but it should perform better overall. Like I said, reeds are, they're everything for your blowdown. If you ain't got them, you're not building pre blowdown pressure. You know, they, uh, every time the piston goes down, it pushes air back towards the carburetor. And if you ain't got the reeds in place or working properly, that pressure just gets kind of shoved right back out the carburetor. And it screws with everything in the performance of the saw. Everything. All done. Ready for one more test. If we got any more air leaks, it's probably at the intake. So just keep that in mind. If there is any more air leaks, it's probably in the intake, and I'll probably have to get some silicone and put in there um, to get it sealed. But there we go. She's a healthy saw. She's got good compression. With all the work that I've done here, this thing should run perfectly. There's nothing wrong with it. We've never compression tested it. We want to do that real quick. See what the compression test comes up with. Let's see. I've never done a compression test on it. I'm kind of curious now. I'll show you something. You remember the last video I said we were close? I'm going to show you the spark plug. That's going to tell you we were close. Let me show you. So. How close do you think we were? I think we were really close, weren't we? Let's compression test this sucker now. Ready? See what this compression tester tells us? All right, I'm gonna pull it off and put it on the seat here. Let's see what we get. I forgot that starter needs worked on. Hundred and thirty seven pounds. I'm happy with that. I'm probably gonna end up selling this saw after I'm done. I uh I do that to a lot of them. I uh I throw them up on eBay, I put a price on it, tag on it, and if it sells, it sells. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I ask for what I need out of it for all the time and parts I put into it. You know, the seals, everything. So I might end up selling it when I'm done. But I'm probably going to end up keeping the reeds before I do. Uh, those reeds are kind of a, I don't know, we'll see. Let's get our spark plug back in. Uh, that XL12 I've been working on is probably, I mean, the, that buyer backed out, so. I'm going to end up probably selling it. It's how I finance my hobby, you know. I fix them up and sell them. I paid, I think I paid $30 for this saw. 
much you think you can get out of it. 20, 40, about 40, 45 dollars worth of parts in this all right now. And then the 30 I had to buy it, so it's 75 dollars. Can I get 150 out of it? Maybe. I might be able to get more. I don't know. I would put it on eBay at 200 bucks and let it sit there for three months. If it sells, it sells. If it doesn't, it doesn't. If it doesn't sell, it just stays with me. Uh, that's that's how I do it. Uh, the profits get put back into more parts and more sales. About $75 till the parts and all that stuff was done. Uh, time... Probably another. Well, let's just add a hundred bucks for time. So I'm at a hundred and seventy-five dollars. I think it's a reasonable number for this all, especially when you see it running, because it should run perfectly. I think it's a reasonable number. It doesn't look the greatest. I mean, if I stripped all the paint off and repainted and all that, I could get the price up. I could get it up probably to 300 or more. But I don't usually do that. I've, I've done it a few times, but I don't usually. But there we go. The next time you see me with this saw, we're going to be running it, and we're going to be tuning it, and we're going to see just how good it runs. Alrighty. I'm happy. We got the reeds in. <laughs> I'm excited about that. All right.